Why hello there YouTube and welcome to a random review with me. I am Random Ross and today I am reviewing fantasy comedy classic Big. Um, this film it is directed by Penny Marshall, stars Tom Hanks, um, Elizabeth Perkins, uh, Robert Lo Loger and John, John Head Jr. John Heard Jr. No, John Heard. You know, Kevin's dad from Home Alone. Um, so, this uh, also has stars um, David Mosco and. Um, and also stars. Um, Jared uh, Rushton. So, as I said, this is a fantasy comedy about a 12-year-old named Josh Baskin. You know, he's a young preteen. You know, he finds life unfair that he can't do this, that and the other because he's a kid. Till he one day goes up to this fortune teller box thing in a fair uh, of like a, a, a robot thing and he makes a wish. He wishes that he was big. And then he wakes up the next morning and discovers that he is big and has grown up into Tom Hanks. Uh, next thing he like is an adult. He does whatever the hell he wants and he gets a job, earns good money, lives in a flat that becomes a kid's, a 12 year old kid's dream and bunks with his friend, uh, Billy. And then eventually he discovers other things of being an adult. When he meets love interest uh, Susan Lawrence, played by uh, Elizabeth Perkins. Um, so, and then, you know, he soon then discovers that, you know, his mother's missing him. Uh, he makes out that he's a kidnapper and he's kidnapped her son. Uh, and that, I'm thinking, yeah. And, um, yeah, then we all... You know, and then at the end he realises, you know, maybe he's not ready to be an adult yet, so he becomes a kid again. So let's get on to my likes and dislikes about this film. First of all, the likes. I like that this is a family classic. I remember seeing this when I was about 10, 11. The film was a PG and I watched it with my mum. Uh, and yeah, I thought this was a funny film. You know, funny and mind-blowing at the time when I watched this. Uh, thinking he wished he was big and now he's a grown-up um and you know tom hanks was great in this as the grown-up josh um and acted like a kid um yeah that was fun i also liked uh, elizabeth perkins in this she was so stunning and beautiful in this you know I, to me, she will always be like Wilma Flintstone from the 1994 film, The Flintstones. Um, yeah, I thought she had a great role in this and stuff. I also like the guy, um, what's his name? Uh -huh. Oh, that's it. Uh, John Hurd, uh, who I know as... Kevin's dad from Home Alone. Um, and I also like they had Robert Loger. R for Robert Loger. O for Oh My God, it's Robert Loger. B for By God, it's Robert Loger. E for Everybody Loves Robert Loger. R for Robert Loger. T for Tim Look, it's Robert Loger. Space. You know. That's from Family Guy. Um, yeah, I liked uh, him. I don't. I haven't watched many of his films and that. Um, yeah, and this this was a fun film, and yeah, a lot of stuff that I now look at it and think, oh yeah, uh, I'm going to get to my dislikes now. Um, I didn't like that there were loads of plot holes in this film. As as a ten year old, I didn't question this. But now I think, as an adult myself, there's a lot of plot holes in this. First of all, how did he afford a 
an apartment like that with the money he makes. Secondly, how come his mother didn't call the police or unleash a campaign to help find him? And also, what was that, yo? He lost his virginity to Wilma Flintstone. And there's all kinds of wrongs with that, because he may have the appearance of like a 28-year-old bloke, but he's like still like a 12-year-old kid. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell was going on there? Uh, I did like that there were plot holes in there like that, but... Again, at the time I never questioned this, but looking at it now, I think there's quite a lot of stuff wrong with Big now. You know, whether, you know, probably because of the time it was made, the 80s and that, no one cared about stuff. You know, the 80s. Yeah, it, it, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just pure fiction. And, yeah, <coughs> maybe I'm overthinking that, but that's what I'm just thinking, you know. Uh... But other than that, I remember enjoying Big and I've still watched it today. Well, I recently watched it for this review. Other, also that and Little to see if it has any connections with that film. Um, but yeah, Big, I thought it was a decent enough uh, fantasy film. Uh, there's a few flaws with it. I mean, probably if it was made today, it'd be 12A or PG-13. I don't know when that certificate was introduced to films, uh, but... Yeah, it was. It's it's an okay family friendly film. Well, family friendly ish to certain family audiences, I would say. So yeah, um, yeah. So let's see my ratings. Joe, you know what Big's a, a decent film. It's a classic, and yeah, that. So I'm gonna give this a. I'll give it a three and a half out of five. Three and a half out of five for Big. So yeah, that has been my random review on Big. Have you seen this film? Let me know all that down in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. All my social media links are linked down below in the description. So until next time, I bid you all a goodbye, friends, goodbye. Yes, big.